Welcome back to Frybox 64 Productions. I am your almost 30 mutant non ninja non turtle, Frybox 64. And today, we're actually gonna be trying out a new game from the makers of BitLife. So I think it's Candy Writer LLC is the group that makes BitLife. You guys have seen the videos, you guys have watched all the YouTubers do it, you guys have watched me do it. But uh, today, we're going to be drawing a different kind of simulator that came out recently from them. Also, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I have been suffering the effects of the weather change here. It has not been, mm, it has not been fun. Minnie, do you know what kind of... Ah. <laughs> Minnie, do you know what kind of a game we're playing today? Is it a cat simulator? Well, no, not quite. Get fast, do you know what kind of game we're playing today? Take over the world, rule with darkness, I rule over the darkness, I am the Get Bash, I am the Dark Fear Me! Close, but not quite. Miss Bella Diva Jelly Bean, do you know what kind of game we are playing today? This is all about being a bunny and being the queen of the bunny liberation fun? No, not quite. So, no, it is not going to be a bunny simulator. It's not going to be a cat simulator. Instead, this is going to be, hopefully you can see it, dog life. <laughs> it is dog life. Apparently, somebody at Candy Writer thought that it was absolutely 100% necessary for there to be a bit life, but as you play as a dog. So we're gonna try this out and we're gonna see, I'm gonna try a round of it, just making my own choices just to see what it's like. I don't know, maybe we'll come back and do it as a, as a dice roller episode later. So, let's get into it, I guess. Okay, so don't do that. Okay, so because um, I don't have like an actual screen recorder for this thing, um, for this iPad, and I don't have enough memory on my phone for me to be able to do this, and apparently I can't play it on the computer. We're gonna have to Lauren Z side it and do it like this. So, uh, yeah. Come top dog. I don't wanna become top dog. At least not right now. I just wanna see what's going on. Okay, so what do we do when we pull these up? Uh, new life, lives in progress, pet cemetery, pet cemetery? Pet cemetery? Ah, no. We can put custom cities and custom people in there. Pretty much the same thing that you can do with BitLife, okay. Nothing extremely new or nothing extremely uh, different. This is going to be very, very, ugh. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Maybe if, hmm, because I kind of need my dominant hand. There we go, ah, ta-da! New life. Rusty for sale at Jayla's Pet Store for $4.35. I was born a male Pomeranian in Phoenix, United States. My mother gave birth to me in the warmth of a loving home. Unfortunately, the family couldn't keep another animal, so they dropped me off at Jayla's Pet Store. My name is Rusty. I am for sale at Jayla's Pet Store for $4.35. Okay, so my question is, who decided that we needed to have a game like this? Seriously, that's my thought. So we have Pet Store. Um, what's this? Uh, Mrs. Watson, uh, their employees, other animals. Oh, I can't have relationships with other animals? Okay, well that's interesting. Um, hmm. Does that mean that they're spayed? Like the grayed out thing mean they're spayed? Uh, oh, you know what? Ooh, Allison looks nice. Let's sniff her, I guess. We can sniff. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you smell Allison in the bottom rain. It's probably just smell like butthole. <coughs> oh gosh, I don't know if that's how I want to be starting out this game here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I tried really hard to find a better way to do this, and this is the best I could come up with, just propping it up in the office here. I am sorry, it's not the highest quality video ever. Okay, so the scent DB, I guess, is um, keeping track of all the different scents we know with the hierarchy. Um, ooh, okay, so we have the hierarchy, uh, Purvis, Bo, Crumpet, Allison, Reba. I find it, oh jeez, I'm so okay, we're way down here. I find it interesting that Crumpet is the alpha female, but she's spayed and Allison isn't. I feel like that's, what can we do here? You affectionately licked Purvis the, uh, why are we licking his genitals for three minutes? Okay, I've done two things and they have both been lickage stuff and nobody likes me. Oh well, whatever. What are the activities we can do? Act up in the pet store, try to attract attention. Let's try to attract attention. Uh, try to attract somebody to buy you. Offer paw, dance, lick, crawl, wine. I think dance. I would dance. I would dance. <clears throat> Let's see. You performed a happy dance for anyone who approached you at the pet store. Yeah. 
I would do it. Oh, maybe, maybe try. Why are we constantly sniffing crouches? I feel like this is the highly inappropriate version of bit life. I mean, and bit life was pretty inappropriate. Nuzzle up to her. You nuzzled up against pet store employee Mrs. Watson's knee. Aw, does she like me now? Okay, maybe a little bit more. Clumsy cashier, you're rolling around with a toy in the store's play area when pet store employee Mrs. Watson suddenly loses her grip on a full cash register drawer in front of you. Coins and cash litter the ground at your feet and you're not sure how to react. What will you do? Roll around in it, run away scared, help her, eat some cash. Uh, I'm gonna say help her. Pet store employee Mrs. Watson, Clumsy dropped a pile of cash and I push a small amount of money toward her to help her clean up. Okay, let's see. Oh, she's in heat! What, what do we do with that? What do we do with that? What do we do with that? Um, let me nizzle her. Okay. Um, what do we do? Can we do anything with her at all? Let's just sniff everybody. Oh boy, so, so after sniffing everybody, uh, Allison smells like butthole. Bo smells like lighter fluid. Allison smells like light hole, a butthole. Bo smells like lighter fluid. Crumpet smells like urine. Purvis smells like urine. Holly smells like lighter fluid. Reva smells like permanent markers. And Shelby smells like an old boot. I don't know how to progress with this. I really don't. Uh, try to attract attention. Let me chase her tail. <gasps> Yay! A policy analyst named Travis Boozer is interested in purchasing you from the pet store. How will you behave? He smells like absinthe, no other pets. Uh, give him puppy dog eyes. You're rejected by the policy analyst. You took him crump at the beagle and said, No! We gotta go home! We gotta go home with somebody! Please! Please, somebody take me! Um, we just like this. Here's the cat just began pacing around in a circle. What will you do? Uh, I don't want to attack him. I'll walk away from him because I know what happens to animals that attack other animals in the pet store. They go away. Pet call you a pathetic excuse for a dog. I'll bare my teeth at her. Stop. Range to transfer you to local animal shelter. Oh, cooperate. You started a new life at the. Okay, at the pet shelter. Oh, they put me at the pet shelter. Oh, she was mean. Lick. Oh, that's mean. Why are you being mean to me? Patata. <laughs> patata. Hi, patata. It smelled like decaying flesh. Okay, so we're at the. It, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, we're not loved. We're not loved. We're way at the bottom. How do I get any, how do I get any kind of respect? Do I have to fight people? Is that what it is? I don't want to fight anybody. All right, let's try to attract attention. Puppy dog eyes. <gasps> Yay, a restaurant worker named Electra Hughes is interested in adopting you. How will you behave? Um, I guess we will lick her. She adopted Avalanche instead. What the heck? How hard is it to get adopted here? I guess we age up then. Well, yeah, I'm suffering from anxiety. What the, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. How about we practice a trick? Let's practice. <laughs> Let's practice shaking hands. Oh, I've got to watch an ad apparently to practice shaking hands. Hold on, guys. I love for subjecting my ears to that horrible uh, video ad. Uh, practice shaking hands. Um, let's see. Big. Forced you to listen to. Really? That's just taking you to the vet to get neutered! Oh no! Act up! What happened? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We've been neutered! Oh no! <laughs> Boost some love. Volunteer animal masseuse stops by the shelf and offers to give you a Swedish massage. massage. Ugh. I forgot what it's like to have to suffer through the ads because I was so used to having, like, bit as in status in bit life. And now I'm forced to watch ads all over again. These take forever. I hate it. <clears throat> 
Hooray! We got a Swedish massage. We feel much more loved. Okay. And we're trying to attract attention. This is really annoying. This is really annoying. And it again. It's hotter than much. Just sharpen your claws and rock and flash them at you. Vomit on her. <laughs> what? Patata the mutt pulled out a top hat and Kane and did a ragtime dance as she fled your presence. What? Okay. Hooray, we got a cool, refreshing new look. Hooray. Nobody is going to want to want me at all. Yay. Stand on back paws. That works. You stood on your hind legs and pawed at the bars every time someone walked by your cage at the shelter. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Okay, come on. A student named Precious Rockefeller is interested in adopting you. She smells like soot. Other family members know. Uh, let's give her puppy dog eyes. What the heck? What is wrong? What? Uh, I don't get it. I really don't. Patata the mutt was adopted from the shelter. A male here came in the shelter wanting a lab dog. Even though Oliver the Mutt is a male and you are too, he wants to mount you. What will you do? Uh... I'm gonna ignore him. Oh, that's not... fun. We're gonna chomp his hind leg. Stop! Yelled at you for fighting, she called you a bad dog, what will you do? Nuzzle up to her. <laughs> I really don't know, dude. I, I don't know. I, oh gosh, I don't know what to do. Where, where's the hierarchy at this point? Okay, so we're number six. Um, okay. I don't know really what the point of this game is, really. I'm sure other YouTubers are having an absolute fun time with this, but I am not having fun with this at all. <gasps> Yay! Cameraman named Buck Greco is interested in adopting you, how we behave. Um, <clears throat> we're going to nuzzle up to him. Oh my goodness! What is this? Let's just. Cool. While watching the humans come and go from inside your kitchen cell, you begin to wonder what quality makes a dog the most adoptable. What do you think? Apparently, ferocity! Because apparently ferocity makes other dogs much more adoptable. All right, so let's let's instead of getting adopted, let's try focusing on the different uh, socials that you can do. So Elsie, let's sniff you. So you can sniff, and that gives them a positive relationship. Lulu, what's our health like right now? Our health is not great, so I don't want to attack anybody. Um, Lulu, let's just bark at her. Oh my gosh, seriously? Oh, I'm gonna uninstall this thing, legit. She ignored you. Ruby. Let's try to seek attention from her. Tara. I don't know. Your ear. Ruby the Mutt charged your way while humping the air. What will you do? I guess ignore her. I don't understand how Rusty isn't dead yet. Boring, 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 boring. You know, I'm gonna do the YouTuber strat and we're just gonna hit age up. Okay, Tara died. Haloosh! The Mutt has arrived at the shelter. He was pulled out of a trash can behind a local Burger King. How will you behave? Uh, um, welcome her. <clears throat> A retired writer named Amy Gallo. You know what, just surprise me. It can't be any worse. Stop! Uh, just surprise me at this point. I really don't know. Stop! Fudge. Uh, I guess we're attacking now. Uh, oh, why are we, why are we trying to do inappropriate stuff on here? Stop. Has taken you to the back room to euthanize. You try to escape onto the street. Oh gosh, I don't even know. Moves twice for every move makes you only make moves towards you and try to walk horizontally first. Gotcha. 
Well, that was lovely. Well, that was lovely. Rusty the Pomeranian died after being euthanized. His body was preserved in formaldehyde and donated to the public school system to be dissected in high school biology class. Rusty the Pomeranian started his life caged up at Jayla's pet store before ending up imprisoned at South Phoenix Animal Shelter. No happiness, no love. And you on. Well, that was a heckin' bamboozle if I ever saw one. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and try a new random life this time, and we're gonna, this time we're gonna leave it up to the dice. We're gonna see if the dice can actually help me get a better situation out of this dog life thing. I will say though, at this point, um, kind of disappointed with Candy Rider right now. I know that they've always been kind of like tongue in cheek, like inappropriate humor, but dog life dials that up to 10. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I'm worried for the YouTubers who actually do regular bit life videos if they start, try switch over to dog life I, They're gonna have to censor a lot of stuff if they're gonna stay monetized. So I mean eh. One could argue that that is uh, the unfortunate truth of a life of a lot of dogs and uh, It just doesn't make for very entertaining content. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're gonna try again though. Okay, so we're gonna start a new random life Hey Ferd! Oh gosh, hi. We're starting another ad apparently. Hmm, which are you? Dog lover, cat lover? Play as a cat, little cat breeds. What? All dog breeds, all cat breeds? You could play as cats? Oh yeah, oh, and no ads. See, I think, guys, I think what's happening is you have so many people paying to become bitizens with BitLife that you're starting to lose the ad revenue, so you had to come up with dog life so that you could keep getting the ad revenue. Now we've thrown all the ads onto here. That's what I think. Uh, I was born a male, a Pomeranian in Southampton, United Kingdom. I was born in a puppy mill and sold for 195 pounds to my new owner. My name is Hayford. My owner is Jacob Tomlinson, a grocer, age 31. He has one other pet, an Abyssinian cat named Sky. Aww! Yay! We're not in a pet store now! This might be a little bit better. Hello, Hayford. This might be a little bit better. And let's go into household. Okay. We got... Okay. Can we do anything with the house? Can we do anything with the car? Why is Jacob sad? There is Sky. Sky does not like us. Oh well. We are here. You're going to have to love me. Sky is the alpha. I mean that that's understandable. We're a puppy. And we can act up or play. Um Well then. Um Dice, don't fail me now. Uh, I guess we're sniffing his crotch. Uh, he smelled like wasabi, <laughs> somebody. <laughs> Sniff other animals. I, uh, your scent database. I sniffed Jacob though, doesn't that count? She smelled like cream of chicken soup, what the heck? Oh, so we have a scent database, what do we do with that? What do we do with that? I don't, I don't understand. Oh well, hey Jacob. Your, your owner Jacob has married Molly Johnson, a 38 year old photographer. They went to Banff for their honeymoon. I understand that Banff is spelled differently, but that's how I pronounce it. Uh, let's see, she's a ph photographer at the Southampton. Oh, aw, that's nice. You got a new person. Molly Johnson moved in with you. Owner's new wife. Oh, hello. Hello, madame. Mad mademoiselle. Uh, you're thinking about what type of attitude to take with your owner. She's not very kind. Uh, dice say to, uh, show her love. Uh, your owner's have bought a new car. Okay, hooray. Um, how does that impact me at all in any way, shape, or form? Can I lick her? Oh, jeez. Why did I have to lick Sky's genitals? Can I cuddle with my Ono? Oh, does he love me? Oh, he loves me. Mowies. Can I lick you? Yay. Age me up. You're enjoying a peaceful after lunch nap when you're abruptly awakened by the horrible sounds of Sky the cat struggling to hawk up a hairball. <gasps> what will you do? I need a six for this. You Ig ignore it because the <laughs> I was unconcerned. Completely ignored her. Mm, you know what, Sky? Uh, let us um, let's bark at her. Yes, you barked at Sky the cat. Hey. Hey, don't, don't nip me. Don't do that. You were sillies. You were sillies. Your owners, Jacob and Molly, have adopted a puppy named Lulu. Oh, she's so cute. Uh, supplies me. Eh, she's, she's eh. She's eh. 
She's cute, but she's eh. I'm still the baby. The cat is in heat. I don't know what to do about this. The cat is in heat and I don't know what to do. Should be the name of my next album. I sniff you. She smells like dental floss. Why? Why is that a thing? All right, so we got these two in our scent database. I have no idea how that's going to come into play later. Lulu the Border Collie just jumped you from behind. Oh, why would she do that? I am going to say we're going to <laughs> put a dog and urinate on her. Oh, why can't I defend myself? Try to mate with what? With the cat? What? Why am I getting a random photo? No, go away. Oh, shoot. Why, why did I get a random photo? I don't know what that. Lulu Border Collie attack you? Why? Why are you all fighting me? What is wrong with you? Oh my goodness. I guess we're submitting to her. You gave a Swedish massage with your paw. What the heck? I can't talk. Hold on. Complete a full life. We did that. Get kicked out of the pet store. Pacifist. Submit to an aggressor. Okay. Oh, oh, look at all the things we can do here. Look at all these things. Okay, cool. Break out of the toilet. How do I do that? Am I old enough to break, drink out of the toilet yet? Let's mess with her a little bit. Yes. You splashed in a mud puddle. You splashed in a mud puddle. You can't see it. During a rainstorm, then came inside and rolled around on your own or Molly's clean laundry. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, and she she's okay with it. That's cool. All right, it up again. You're starting to pay because your owner, Molly, has accidentally left you and her Nissan Rogue on a very cold day. You're in a parking lot outside of a food festival. What will you do? Oh, we will uh, make as much noise as possible. You made as much noise as you could. Your mo owner, Molly, returned soon later and took you home. Soon later? Like, soon later. Okay, so hang on. My happiness is only that is not, like, as far down, but they're still like, hey, do you want to boost? It's like, it's still green! <laughs> no! I want to watch another ad! How do I get respect? Is it by fighting the aminals? Is that what I have to do? All right. All right, uh, Sky, you're going down. I guess just gotta figure out what we're doing here, I guess. Uh, Sky, you're going down. That did not help us at all. I'm still at the bottom of the totem pole. Oh well, let's try that. When you're lying down in your favorite spot, when you suddenly feel something inside your ear and start tilting your head trying to get it out, what will you do? Uh, act sick to get attention? How will you show your owner, Jacob, that you're sick? I think that's a 12, typically. Uh, you regurgitate on your owner's lap and you picked him up. Oh boy. Uh, so then we are going to the Southampton Veterinary Hospital. Oh, you're so anxious. You're so anxious, little guy. I am so sorry, Hayford. Uh, we're gonna attack the vets, apparently. Oh no, why are we attacking the vet? Please. I thought rolling dice was gonna make things better for me. It's not. Oh, we're scratching. Tried to scratch your chin but failed. You've been diagnosed with an ear infection. You told the vet to save your life at all costs. Wow. Oh, my owner's so overdramatic, Jacob. Jacob, you are so freaking overdramatic, but I'm so happy that you love your pet Hayford so much. Lulu the Border Collie is in heat and is releasing pheromones that are attracting you to her. What will you do? Um, oh good gracious, I uh, resist the urge! She's our mortal enemy, we're not gonna hump her! <laughs> I wonder what my owner is thinking right now. It's like, no, we're not gonna hump her. Oh, they're both in heat! Oh! No, run my dear fellow, run, stay away from that area of the house. Let's see. Oh, practice a trick. Let's try practicing a trick. Um, I'm gonna have to watch another ad, aren't I? Practice giving a kiss. Well, uh, this is unfortunate. So I was in the middle of trying to learn how to give kisses to my humans and the game froze up in the middle of an ad. I don't know if that's the iPad, what? But, uh, I think we're done here. Well, dear viewer, that was dog life. Couldn't even complete my second life because the ads froze up the entire iPad. <laughs> Maybe that's just my fault for not having the right device to play this on. But honestly, I think I'm gonna do a hard pass on dog life. I mean, other YouTubers might like it. Maybe people that call me Kevin and Lauren Z so I can get a little bit further with it. 
I don't know, but to me, it just seems like they took the tongue-in-cheek humor, like I said earlier, the tongue-in-cheek humor of BitLife, and went all out with it on Dog Life, like no holds barred. I think this was just their excuse to be as inappropriate as they possibly could, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be playing that again. But thank you all for joining me anyway. I'm sorry, the quality of the video is probably going to be a little bit lower than usual. Um, just because I don't have a screen recorder for the iPad and my phone just cannot run that at this point in time. Like, I, knew, I know I need to get a new phone, but... Um, but thank you for joining us anyway. Uh, if you like what you saw today, feel free to hit like and subscribe. If you want me to play more Dog Life, if you want me to give it another chance, or if you want to see me torture myself and do some more challenges, uh, go ahead and leave a comment letting me know down below. Share us around with your friends and family. Uh, let other people know if they're wanting to be playing Dog Life that it's going to be an uphill struggle. And uh, maybe we'll see you again another time for some more Murder, Mayhem, and Maiming. Bye, everybody.